Sean Cotton, this G here, Mastermind Management, bro. I'm going to ask you, bro, what I need to do for it, managing, bro, because I'm trying to be on some shit like Dirty Glove, Bastard, yeah. Coach K shit. You see my nigga, Tina Key, Pirates, Matt, Young CEO, rapper and shit. I'm trying to stay in the managing lane, though. Right. So, I mean, as far as with a rapper, you got all your plugs, all your, all, everything you have is his. Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's your client. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, you got to, anything to get him to progress, yeah. you got to do it or he going to find somebody else. You got to understand you're a manager, so you can get fired at any time. Goddamn in right. some In some aspects. I don't know if it's paperwork involved. Yeah. But I know at the end of the <laughs> day, mean, at the though. end of the day, he he's trusting you to get him to where he need to be at. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, a lot of artists want me to manage, but I never manage rappers because that's like a a, a, a hands-on job and I work with over 3,000 artists. Yeah. I don't want to promise a rapper that I'm going to take him somewhere or do something for him when it's selfish of me to lie to him because I'm working with another artist the next day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is I do production agreements to where as though I, I kind of get, well, I don't really guarantee anything because it can go either way, but what I do with artists is called production agreements yeah. to where I'll do a, I'll blow them up on social media, then take them to the label. We work something out at the label and then we on to the next. Yeah. But with, as far as a manager, any plug you got, you need to be out in the field. You need to be at all these networking events, all these open mics, trying to holler at these promoters to get the, to get your rapper on these headlines, on these flyers, all that shit. That's your job. You know what I'm saying? If you I don't agree. get it done, he gonna find somebody else that got more money than you, more connects than you. This a ruthless game. I already you know. know. What I'm saying? Shit, I'm cutthroat myself though. <laughs> Facts, you gotta be. Hey, do me a favor. So now I know that you pretty much you 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 can gauge and see what's going on with the rap community, what it's doing, who's buzzing. You travel, you always around, so you know what's the new sound and things of that nature. Yeah. Where do you feel like the culture is going for what artists like us who hustling? need to do as far as like the general thing but of course you need to pop yeah where do you feel like it's going like the new wave as far as you know how now we in the digital age yeah. and went from cds to this what do you feel like the best ways excluding just the basic ways we promote on right. instagram and shit to like really put ourselves out there right i mean a lot of a lot of the street cats they believe that um you know you still got to be in the streets but everything in the street it it, it tumbles over on the internet, you know what I'm saying? So, me, I'm big on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? I don't, everybody has their own blueprint, but I blow artists up on Instagram. So, I would tell an artist to do what I do, you know what I'm saying? Get on Instagram, put out as much content as possible. Every big move doesn't have to be a music video. You don't have to spend $500 for a music video, you know what I'm saying? I've blown up people like YK Osiris, who was in the studio, and his home his homeboy was just recording the song. He lip-singing the song. He didn't have spend no money. He didn't spend none of that on a music video. So, I say that is if you put out dope content uh one of those instagram blogs are gonna pick you up and you're gonna go viral um a dude just was arrested the other day in baltimore uh shooting a music video and um shooting. and he kept shooting it in the yeah. handcuffs his friend dm me the the clip and 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 we posted it and and then his page got two million views just off that clip and he, now he got three, three. I think twenty or thirty thousand more followers. You know what I'm saying? Now he's Damn. all over the blog sites. Now what's that? What that's leading to is people want to wait till the original video come out. So that video is gonna go crazy all off of him putting that on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And don't be a one trick pony. I mean, still do shows. Um, I know a lot of y'all still got CDs. My car don't take CDs. That's why I, don't, I tell y'all I'm, I'm big on SoundCloud and Apple Music and all that. But Man, you just gotta be as creative as possible. Being talented is cool, but it's if if if, if it's five talented niggas, what separates you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What are you doing that the other talented niggas aren't? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's rapping these days, and now every female's rapping these days too. So now y'all got tri uh -huh. twice the competition. Yeah, yeah. Cardi B has gave these females so much confidence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just how you spoke on like how your car don't take CDs and yeah. things of that nature. Well, you feel like it's the best way to distribute music? Streaming apps, SoundCloud, uh, Apple, Spotify, the playlists are real big now. Um, all these playlists are coming out. Get on one of those playlists. Those playlists, they 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 bring you so many more um, plays and streams. Get yeah. on, I mean, trust me, it's nothing wrong with being a street nigga, but it's, it's a certain point where y'all got to realize that 
That is, it's 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 nothing wrong with pushing your shit on the internet. You feel me? Still be in those strip clubs too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go straight digital, but you know, push your music on digital and then and, and, and at nighttime be out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Passing out flyers or one thing I see uh, Dallas what uh, Dallas artists don't do that Atlanta Atlanta and LA artists do. They if you go to any corner, you see that um, on the light pole they tape shit on the on the joint or whatever. It's, it doesn't make sense that if I'm in Dallas and I'm from out of town. I don't know what's going on. When I'm out at Rudy's and shit like that, I don't see no, I don't see any campaigning. You know what I'm saying? When I'm out and about at the red light and I'm stopping and I'm chilling and I'm looking at the light pole, it's no rappers. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's no campaigning in Dallas. You know what I mean? So. So you feel like the street shit, like posters and all this shit actually still matter. Because I don't have yeah. people say, nah, bro, like that shit did. Everything matters, bro. Everything matters. And Mo3 came up through the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mo3 That's came up through the streets, but that, that was four or five years ago. It's even, it's worse now. You know what I mean? How do you actually get on to the playlist? Like, I know which people got playlists and stuff. How do you, yeah. like, email? Like, I mean, we have a playlist email. now, and that's one thing. My playlists are going to be straight what's popping, what I like. So I'm not charging to get on my playlist. If you send me something and I like it, um, I'm not charging for that. I'm just That's just something that people can't buy to get on. Um, but if other people, it's I know some people have a fee. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's different. I don't really... One thing about me, I don't pay attention to the other blogs for real. I'm, I'm focused on what we got going. You know what I'm saying? But I know some do have a fee. Um, some don't. And some do help. I like, it just depends on the record. If the record's dope, it's going to sell itself. This shit like the, the dope game. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, the, if, the, if the crack if the crack good, if the weed good, you gonna, it's going to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If it's not good, it's not going to move. This shit right. just like the streets. You feel what I'm saying? It's yeah, cutthroat yeah, yeah. just like the streets. Gotcha, you know gotcha. what I mean? So yeah. all y'all selling dope, but which one got the best dope? That's how you got to look at it. You know what I'm saying? I look at this shit like the streets, bro. This shit is a dangerous game. Bloggers, yeah. we dying now. Yeah. Rest in peace to my nigga Zach. Rappers are dying. Yeah. This yeah. game is a crazy game, bro. Okay. Um, as far as like the audio, because I know it's more of a visual game now rather than audio. So, if you're doing like a freestyle versus just putting up audio with like a cover, which one do you think has more to put? I mean, I would imagine. Bro, the there's no blueprint. No blueprint. Bro, I've blown up TK. I've blown up. Um, bro, I've blown up hella people, bro, all differently. They One had a music video, one didn't. You know what I'm saying? One nigga went, was on a race. Yeah, one yeah, nigga yeah. wasn't. You know what I'm saying? One nigga had 30 felonies, one nigga didn't have a felony. Yeah, the, yeah. One nigga was black, one nigga was white. You know what I'm saying? Glock 9. We blew up him. That's the latest artist we blew up. He's about to sign for 2.5 million. You know what I'm saying? And that was a 90 day period. You know what I'm saying? So there's no blueprint, bro. I can't sit up here and lie to y'all. All I can do is put you on the platform. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one of them niggas that's out here selling dreams, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. not me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's not too many niggas that could be like, man, fuck Sean. Duh, 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 duh. Nah, we did business. Either you either it worked or it didn't. But one nigga can't say, there's three things you can't call me. A faggot, a scammer, and a bitch. There's yeah. three things you can't yeah. call me, bro. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Real fight facts. Words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Real fight words. Hey, facts, though. That's true. That's, that's true. And I guess the last thing, the biggest thing that I see, so artists want to do rap now, but also they got to kind of have that vibe or that scene kind of thing. How do you balance it? Say you got a hip hop song, but you also got them, them pop ish or even just R&B type song. Like it, it don't matter. Right. You I'm not a rapper, good. so that's what I'm saying. I don't like to tell rappers how to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you got to yeah. do you. I guess put it, out, put it out in the universe it, and let the fans yeah, right, yeah. let the fans Decide. cuss you out. Yeah, 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 I yeah. can't tell you what to do. Yeah. I can't be like, hey, my nigga, you need to. I need more more melodic shit. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's for the fans it, to get on you about. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, nowadays, yes, yeah, a lot of ra it's a lot of singing niggas, niggas that's rapping, and it's a lot of rapping niggas that are harmonizing. You know what I'm saying? And fans like for their artists to know how to do both. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's kind of no a lot of noise in there. It's fire, It's not picking up. Okay. Okay, that's all I got. Oh, oh okay. Oh, my bad. Hey, we going to get that small. Small stand. Yeah. Stand on that. All right. Hey, look, um, for an upcoming artist, I, what, what you think you we need to be trying to do? Take over your hometown or or, or promote other, other places? Man. In Dallas. In Dallas. 
Dallas, all you think you need to be promoted somewhere else. I feel like I feel like you don't have to move out of Dallas, but shit, twice a month, leave. You know what I'm saying? Go to New York, go to LA, hit those B list markets, Seattle, Kansas City, Baltimore, St. Louis, New Orleans. Hit somewhere with a five hundred thousand dollar I mean not five hundred thousand, but five hundred uh, thousand population. You know what I'm saying? It don't gotta be a super big city. Go to one of those small cities, East Texas or Houston, and, and just you know what I'm saying. You don't have to move from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? But when you feel stagnant, when you feel like shit not moving for yourself, travel. You know what I'm saying? Because when you leave, that's when the hometown gonna cheer for you more. You know why? Because they're scared that you're you're gonna be unreachable soon. You know what I'm saying? So when you travel and they feel like you're gonna be unreachable, they have no choice but to support because they know once you blow, you might not come back. You know what I'm saying? You might not. I come yeah, back, yeah. so that's why it's so good to it's, it's so good to to move and move around and travel because it makes the hometown feel like you don't need them motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? When you move and you start fucking with niggas in in Seattle, St. Louis, and Chicago, your hometown going gonna be twice as friendly because they know, man, they don't need me no more. Let me support this campaign for this nigga Boom in in New Jersey, and, and this nigga might not come back home. Because everybody want to be a part of your story You know what I'm saying Especially a successful story So so, so once you travel And you let niggas know You drop your nuts on niggas And, and, you, and, and, and niggas realize that you don't need them no more Watch how niggas change Watch hard. how your phone blow up more When you when you traveling You on Miami When you on the beach On the scooter With a bad bitch on the back Watch how, niggas, watch how friendly niggas turn But when you in a nigga face every day And a nigga know you need him a nigga know you need him, he gonna treat you like shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why traveling's so important. But I'm not the nigga to say move, move out of town and leave, never come back. I'm not like that. I would've, bro, I'd've made hella money. I would've been going. But I'm back. I'm fucking with my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We, he put together a dope but venue, I, and I'm here supporting him. I say, hey, you come in your hometown, too. Like, like a, lot of, a lot of hot artists get killed. And they yeah, for sure. Okay. That's why you can't be accessible. You gotta move like a star. Niggas, you should not... If you're a rapper, there's no reason why you should be in the club for free. If you're not getting a bag, why are you in the club? Why are you in the club trying to fit in? You should be in the studio. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga see you, he should be shocked he's seen you. He should, be wanting to take, he should want to take a picture with you every time he see you. There's no reason why you as a rapper or any of y'all guys as a rapper should be accessible. I should know where y'all niggas be at. I shouldn't be like, man, Johnny B on 34th block. He should be out there right now. You want to pull up on him? There's no reason why. You got to move like you already a star. Well, they're not going to treat you like a star. What am I going to treat you like a star for if I know where you be at? If I know what you're doing at 5 a.m., 5 p.m.? Why would I treat you like a star? It don't make sense. You got to you gotta move like a star. And if niggas is calling you Hollywood, fuck them. They insecurity is bad as shit. You know what I'm saying? If niggas should be calling you Hollywood. If a nigga not calling you Hollywood, you're you not moving right. So I needed that, man. Man, my name uh Joe Lee. I'm from Louisiana. I'm kind of like uh new to Texas a little bit. Been here about like a year and a half. And I want to speak on to what I was saying about saying what we was talking about earlier. and asked you a question about it. You know, earlier when I was telling you I don't really have faith in the music game no more, and you was like, no, nah, I don't give up, which I wasn't saying. I was giving up on myself or nothing like that. But a lot of people told me the game ruthless and ain't no love in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I be like, you know, I'm trying to figure out like what should I do? Because I be halfway not, you know, you know, not giving a fuck because, like, you know, when you when you come to the labels or whoever, you like, I need you to sign me. That's how they're going to treat you like, nigga, you need me. Yeah. So I'm trying to see. I feel like I should just go out here and do it myself, put in my own work and put my cell phone, then they'll come to me. Yeah. But what you feel about a, a dude that, you know, that's coming from a different place, you know, he'll starting all over again and trying to get on. Should I be out here, like, trying to holler at labels and shit like that? Do I need a manager or should I do this shit all myself? Man, I mean, I'm the type of nigga, you don't need a manager until it's too much to manage. If you if, if you not if your if your emails ain't popping if your if your shit not popping you don't need a manager yet you know what I'm saying when you when it when it's too much to keep up with then you need a manager but at that at that time man just put in the, on the, the work on your own find a videographer that believes in you you know what I'm saying somebody that's not gonna hit you over the head you know what I'm saying we I mean come on man none of us is rich you know what I'm saying I don't know y'all pockets I'm just saying I'm speaking in general you so uh, I'm not I'm really not <laughs> but 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 no but no on a, on a serious tip though like you want to find somebody who believes in you somebody who's gonna you know look out for you when you need your video shot I know plenty of dope motherfuckers in the city right now that shoot videos for two hundred dollars I could call them right now and get them on the line and they dope is shit you know what I'm saying they might not have they might not have all the subscri all the subscribers like the half pints and dance dailies and the Jeff Adairs but they're, they're dope you know what I'm saying find somebody who believes in you you know what I'm saying hit these open mics you know what I'm saying yeah. you don't need a you don't need no fucking deal you know what I'm saying there's so many people that's torn and shit right now I don't even think 6 9 got a deal right 
You don't need no fucking deal. Merch, all that type of shit. Streams, you don't need no deal. Find a people, get a little team, four or five. I, I, preferably, I preferably like to work with all women. You know what I'm saying? Black American, African American women. And um, it, shit, start a street team. Hit, get shirts made and, 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 and leave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, and, I, and, I, and I really dig how you say, you know, find somebody who believe in your vision. Yeah. You know, my homie was like, no, I had did a little, the one-on-one. -on -one. He was like, how you feel like, man, that nigga don't believe in my vision, man. I, was, I feel like that nigga off hustling and flow when he threw his tape in the toilet, you know who, what me? I'm saying? You talking yeah, about me or you? Yeah, you threw my shit in the toilet, oh, man. But oh. I don't, I don't fuck with you, though, man. But look. <laughs> but I like, I like how you said, but, you you know, I, everything is a learning lesson. Like, you taught him you got to have thick right. skin and keep pushing through this shit either way. Right. But what I would ask you is for a, a nigga like me that just, you know, like I said, I'm still new to Texas. Like I'm popping like in Louisiana, this, but Texas, I'm no fucking about. It. I'm a new face. Right. So should I be investing in promotion and in marketing and things like that? I mean, bro, that's why. That's that's like I said before. Everybody's blueprint is different. I don't want to tell you invest in promo or marketing and then it don't work. Then you mad at me. You gotta follow your heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta follow your heart. And uh, one more question. Uh, how much is it? You say you got a. Uh, a promotion thing you do like you take I got a a, I, I got a package uh situation yeah I, I got a package deal. and everything like that the the lab the labels or the, that that's a different that the the the, 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 the the label situation is when I do the production agreement okay and that come with an artist that I feel like is ready you okay. know what I'm saying okay. that, that I, any artist can't do that any artist can't it's 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 crazy it's rappers right now that y'all listen to every day that that want to sign a production agreement with me and I I just I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? It got to be somebody that I believe in and I feel like is ready. All right. The number one major question, what you feel like me or somebody in this room got to do to fuck with you? Consistency. It's too much complaining on the internet, not enough consistency. A lot of these niggas, is prides are too big and it, it, it's, it's consistency, man. Like, too much complaining, not enough working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right here. Yo, yo, how you doing? Kid of King, uh, Houston. Kansas City in the building. Kansas City, by way of Houston. Uh, I wanted to know, so when I do promo, when I release stuff, I get like a pretty nice listen. Like I released my single on Wednesday, got like 40,000 plays. Hmm. But like that seems like as much as I can get to 40,000, 50,000, and it's just like I be having problems. Like people be fucking with it, and it's just like all of that. But then like with videos and stuff like that, I can't get over that hump. And yeah. they say usually the 40s first, 40, 30,000 is easy, and then you should right. get next, another. But it don't, I don't feel like, but people, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. But like, so what is some you're stuck at 40,000, basically. I guess what are some other promo avenues? Because I guess I'm using the same things with Fiverr, uh, and then like different um, promo tactics, like posting on different uh, blogs right. and stuff, like trying to post on different blogs and stuff Man, like that. Man, you just got to keep releasing, dog. You got to keep releasing and hope one is a hit or somebody so, reach out. What somebody about, like, may reach out. For example, it was a dude out of Orlando named Pooty, and he could never he he could never really get over five thousand. We put we posted him one time, and the shit went crazy. Offset was in his when it was in his shit. Um, it was so many people in this shit. Capital I think reached out. Um, it was another label that reached out after we posted him. But to make a long story short, um, once we posted him, he got a co-sign, and Offset reached out and asked him was he signed. And what he did was he used the the DM. He screenshotted it and put it on Facebook, and then that's when. Of the city that he's from, Orlando, reached out where they start supporting him more, mm -hmm. and that got him over the hump. They oh, yeah. seen that a celebrity was fucking with him, and then they start supporting him. Oh, yeah, so with this little shit, so oh, yeah. you just got to use every fucking strategy, dog. Like, so do do like like websites like Starlight PR ones. Uh, do those do those websites? Work I don't really. I don't like. Just no, I don't uh, know. You know okay, what I'm saying? I, I don't want to tell you nothing works because I don't like. I'm not the type to talk down on any other blog site. Yeah. I just know what we do. You know, sometimes what we do works. Sometimes it don't. We didn't, we post our, we post one artist every week and he ain't blown since. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, say cheese might not be his avenue. It could be World Star. He need to get on every week. So say cheese isn't for everybody. I'm not the type to hear. I'm not here selling you a dream. No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. not here saying fuck with say cheese and say cheese only. Nah, I just seen. Well, I just seen niggas get on Carl Bennett shit once and blow up. You know what I mean? So how much is your packages started? I mean, we'll talk about that. I, I mean, I, and, and, and I only got one email. It's a fake email going around. I only got Team Say Cheese. Quasha has her own email. She works for me. But other than that, it's this Team Say Cheese. It's, I don't have a Sean Cotton email. It's a fake email going around. How you make it through Dallas being the Eagles fan? Man, us. Uh, Period. Uh, Period. We got, uh, hold on. Because you know you got slack out here. 
in these streets. Hold on, hold on. I just want to let you know you got shit. Nah, nah, nah. For, nah, for sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it was it was hard, man. I mean, yeah, you know. I mean, it was, it was hard, but, but we overcame. And did you really fuck Tom Bird? Yeah, it was great too. Hey, look. So you know, young Tenny keep finna ask you a question real quick. But look. What do you think best for like you know up and coming artists from a whole different city to uh, you know like get more people, like get a bigger fan base? You know what I'm saying? Man, I mean you got the advantage. I mean you from Memphis, right? Yeah. So all your Memphis people watching you in Texas. Yeah. So you just gotta. I mean, you doing you doing what's right. You know what I'm saying? Just keep moving around, man. Like you you already left town. Memphis is a very dangerous place. You know what I'm saying? Not saying Dallas ain't dangerous because niggas get hit. You I'm not, I know you watch First Forty Eight. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy out here too, but I mean, bro, you just gotta, you got the energy. You on the right path, man. Your people are solid people. You on the right path, bro.